We have been uh, uh, in, in a position to uh, actually uh, have implementation day in January and this was made possible because Iran has complied with all the nuclear related commitments, meaning they had to reduce stockpiles, centrifuges, this was all verified by the IEA and um, uh, the EU, UN and US have lifted all economic, financial, secondary nuclear related sanctions. But this is of course an ongoing uh, process. Uh, the agreement, the GCPOA, needs to be uh, uh, implemented continuously and this is where the European Union uh, is playing the role of coordinator. The European Union played quite an important role because not only was the EU's high representative facilitator and moderator uh, for the talks, but we've also done the text negotiations. Uh, I've been the text negotiator with a very small team of experts. Uh, we have been throughout the process uh, responsible for keeping the unity among uh, the, the, the so-called E3 plus 3. We call it E3 plus 3 because it reflects also the fact that uh, the European Union played a very important role. And uh, uh, we continue to play a role with the High Representative as the coordinator for the Joint Commission. The Joint Commission was created, it's the six countries and Iran, and the Joint Commission was created to overview, monitor the continued implementation of the agreement, both for the nuclear side, but also for uh, sanctions lifting. I wish it could be. It was a successful, it was a successful formula, um, also because we had a clear mandate, a legitimacy mandate from the Security Council. I think the composition of the group that negotiated reflected very much uh, the international uh, community. So yes, I wish it could be a model. There are, there are several aspects. Uh, the agreement definitely um, uh, is good for us because it gives us the necessary assurances uh, uh, when it comes to the uh, peaceful nature of Iran's nuclear program. It's been uh, reassuring also for the region. It will hopefully have prevented uh, um, an incentive for a nuclear arms race in the region, but it's also of course beneficial uh, for Iran because it allows uh, Iran to open up and uh, to, op uh, and, uh, to um, uh, come back uh, to the international community also when it comes to the economic side. Mm -hmm.